Hello, my name is Kelly Antone, PLC Training Instructor with PCC. In this lesson, I'm going to cover IEC counters in the TIA portal software. In the project tree, I'm going to go down to the program blocks area and open up the main program block, OB1. Then on network 6, I'm going to enter in a network title and it will be IEC counter. Then in the basic instruction area, I am going to expand out the counter operations. I will hover over the CTU instruction, which is the count up counter. This will bring up the help for the instruction. I will drag the CTU instruction into the ladder editor, and this will bring up the call options dialog box. I will do a single instance data block for this instruction and select OK. In the project tree, under system blocks and program resources, the instance data block is created there for you. Here are all the elements of the instance data block. Next, I will change my zoom level just to make things a little bit easier to see. For the CU, which is the count up trigger, I will select a normally open contact. I will type in S and pick switch 5 for my counter. For the reset condition, I will actually create a new tag. So I'll type in switch underscore 6, which does not exist yet. I will right click on switch 6 and select define tag. For the section I will pick global input and this will pick the next available input address and I will click define. For the PV value this is what I will count up to so I'm going to enter in a value of 3. For the CV that is the current count value I will create a new tag called my current count that tag does not exist, so I will right click on it and select Define Tag. For the section, I will pick Global Memory. It picks the next available address. I will enter in a comment that says Current Count and select Define. Next, I will put in a coil instruction. And here I will type in L and I will select Light 5 for the output. I will save my project, download my changes into the PLC, and select Load. Then I will go up and start monitoring. When I go over to switch 5 and I physically flip the switch from false to true, it will increment my current count. I will flip switch 5 on and off. Now my current count is 2. If I keep counting and I reach my preset value, light 5 will come on. If I keep counting past the preset value, light 5 will stay on. Now I will move over to switch 6. I will flip that on. That will reset my current count. Light 5 goes off. Now I will turn monitoring off and go offline. I will select the CTU instruction. I can change the data type from int you know, to a different data type if I wanted to but I am going to leave it as an integer and just change it from a CTU to a CTD and make it a countdown instruction. For the load parameter, I will select switch 6. This will load the preset value into the current count. Now I will save my project and download the changes into the PLC. So I will overwrite the main program block and then I will start monitoring. Light 5 is on because the current count is 0. If I flip switch 6 to true, that will load the preset value into the current count and light 5 turns off. Now each time I flip switch 5, that will decrement the current count value. When I decrement down to 0, then it will turn light 5 on. I will flip switch 6 on, which will load the preset value into my current count and turn light 5 off. Now I will stop monitoring and go offline and save my changes. And this concludes the lesson on IEC counters.